days that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Image, right? And, and, then, and then on top of that, God, check this out. They should see in you from the image of his dear son. They should see the compassion. They should see the grace. They should see the mercy. They should see the love. Huh? Mm -hmm. Not only this, right. the, the obedience of, 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 of what, what we're talking about, being led by the Spirit of God, but they also should see the compassion. Yes. You, so mm -hmm. I'm saying this. See, I want to make sure people understand that it's not we even talk about John following and being obedient to God is understand that obedience has characteristics that comes along with it. <laughs> that yeah. servanthood you were talking about, Elder Jones, you remember the fact is that it's a pyramid upside down. Mm -hmm. And in other words, they see the servanthood of you willing to serve. Well, that's actually the pyramid right side up because wow. the strength is on the bottom. Yeah. So servitude was the, the mark that we were that we're established on. The greatest uh -huh. among you can be as your servant. And so they should see that. Uh, and then what's the prime example of it is Jesus Christ of Nazareth gave his life Come that on. we might have life. Yes, and so blessedness should be a mark of the kingdom. Yes, uh, willingness to, sh in one place it says, considering other men's uh, goods above, or uh, well-being above your own. Right. Loving those who, who actively come against you, loving your enemy. Come on. And then there's cursing you, praising, I mean, uh, and those are things that, and this is not like in a, <laughs> in, in a specific, what it would say, a, a, a isolated environment. This is across the board. Across These are, the board, yeah. They yeah. should witness this, they should see this. So are we out with the, the placards? <laughs> are we praying? Come on. You, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. That never came, those are things that, you know, the kind of things that have been playing in my mind lately. It's like, okay, I'm taking up this cause, but is this Christ? Or this politics is this crisis, you, you know what I'm saying? Right. And so I, I find myself, I find myself kind of checking myself. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, you know, that might be a good thing, but I don't think that's a God thing. You know what I'm saying? I know we're looking at the civil rights thing and we're looking at the, we're looking at a lot of things that's going on right now and we're trying to address it from a perspective that's totally cardinal. Uh-huh. Exactly. Spiritual yeah. perspective. Yeah. And, not. And, and that's what happens is when see, see that's the problem I think even with our politics and and the fact is that when people try to infuse the gospel into politics, now we now we infuse, what we do though we try to infuse legalism into politics and, and, and try to say that's what the gospel is all about, right? No, it's not. And, and the no, gospel no. is about that compassion. The gospel is about that love, that mercy, that grace. It comes from the kingdom. The Bible's about the fact there's a bearing fruit. That's why he wants us to bear fruit, right? He wants us to show the characteristics of the fruits of the, of the kingdom. Amen. Uh, of the kingdom. Uh, and anything, the anything the you do the kingdom, shows so. love. Yep. Are you motivated by love? Are you preaching to somebody out of love? Are you, look, we talk about going to the hospital and laying hands on the sick so they can recover. Are we doing it because of the love of Christ? The love of God, or are we doing it for our own self-image and so self-worth and value, Jimmy? Is it? Is it? Do I go to the hospital to 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 for compassion and for and, and <clears throat> that compassion while there leads to the healing of someone because that was a, that was like a byproduct, Jimmy, of the visit. The, the visit yeah. was about. Visiting the sick, feeding the hungry, out of love, huh? It's, you see, what I'm saying is, what is my motive if I'm trying to lay hands on the sick for them to recover? If it, it, it was, if it's, if it's not based on the compassion, that's one of the things. Remember, I think the scripture said when Jesus did some of the healing, he was moved by compassion. He was moved by compassion. He healed all huh? the You see, what I'm saying yeah. is, focus on your motive. He had compassion on the masses and, and healed them of all their afflictions. 
Yes, sir. I think that if we not moved by compassion, we, there's a disconnect between us and the king. That's it. Because the king was moved by compassion initially when he said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes on him might not perish. You know, we Come know on. that on 316. Come out. So, and, and, and we have difficulty with that. Now, I, I can actually say that that's manifested lately in my life more so than I had. I would want it to, yes, sir. because I find out that I will avoid people that I don't, <laughs> that I don't really, you know, people that annoy me or people that kind of like go in a different direction. I think I don't. I, people, you can love them from a distance. Uh -huh. No, you can't. You really can't. You have to. You have to interact with people in order to show love towards them. Exactly. Well, I and I and I have to only speak for me in 2021. <laughs> <laughs> be a self-examination it's gonna be on me this time <laughs> so i'm seeing that maybe I, I avoid those those situations man i mean if it's relatives or friends or people you don't know i just go in another direction like man i don't want to deal with that and you might not see it i might not see it in my mind i mean with my mouth but i'll be thinking it and i'll do things that take me out of their the scope uh-huh but he was he tells us to love the unlovable. When I think in terms of Jesus Christ, I actually going to lay hands on lepers. <laughs> lepers stink. Their uh -huh. skin is rotten. Uh -huh. And, and it, they had to scream unclean, unclean. And he was not, they were not willing, people were not willing to interact with them. Yes, sir. But Jesus literally yes. laid hands on them, moved by compassion, moved by his love for them. He laid hands on them and healed them. That's the key. Move by how, how do we, how do we? How do we, how do we, our, our preset should be, our default condition, I think, should be compassionate.